Hello guys, welcome to Nigra Techies. In this video, I am going to explain image display and implementing the sliding in Angular application using this ng bootstrap components and .NET Core API services. Before going to the code and explanation, I am jumping to provide some demo for showing the exact my last output. So see my screen, this is my final output. It's look like a e-commerce application product screen. Yes, obviously. So here also I'm loading the products from the external services. See, this is the product name and the second one is the product price. And here I'm loaded the product images. The same way if required, we can include some additional details also. And I'm added the model purple for showing the complete images. The single product have the multiple images. So it's showing here I'm using the slider option. See. So it's added for all the products. So the helmet, I think it have only two images. So it's showing the two images. So in case if you don't have the image for any product, it will show the no image. So let me create one new product also. So crickets bat. I am going to provide the amount is the just a thousand. Okay, great. It's added. Let me refresh the screen. See now, so the new product is coming, but it's don't have any images. That's what it's showing like this. So this is all about the demo. So now let me move on the explanation. So the topics I'm going to cover today. First one is loading the product images using the .NET Core Web API services. It's fine. And the next one is creating the pop-up using the ng bootstrap. And the third one is implementing the slider logic using this ng bootstrap. Basically, the ng bootstrap providing the component is called carousel. Using this, we can implement the slider. Okay, great. Now let me move on the code. The first step is we have to create the application using this Angular CLI commands. ng new and application name. Yes, obviously I have created the application, so you can see the output. So this is the default template provided by the Angular. We don't have any changes. And the next step is uh, we need to install the ng bootstrap. For that also we have the Angular CLI command. So it will create the required files and do the necessary changes in the configuration level. Okay, fine. And the final thing is we have to consume the .NET Core Web API services. Okay. So let me go to the changes. So we installed the ng bootstrap. That's what some files are showing. Additionally, we have added some styles in the CSS file. That's fine. So now let me start my changes from our app component. So in the app component have a number of lines. These all are not required basically. So let me remove it everything. Okay, great. So we are going to use this content area only. Here I am going to include my style. Class row inside the class. I am going to create one more div. So inside that we have to show the image. So let me create the image tag also and the source as of now I am going to give the MT and the class is very important one image response you and image thumbnail so basically it will give some good look and feel and we have one custom class that also I am going to include. And showing the product name, I am going to create one more element. Okay, see one black is created. Uh, as of now, we don't have any data. So the data are available in the service only. So let me show the service here. So our service is uh, developed using the .NET Core. And here we are using this product. In the product we are going to use these last two services. One is for get product with image. 
and another one is get product with image by code for loading all the product we can use this service only okay let me copy this one at the same time we have to create the service in our angular application ng generate service or else you can give the s yes, that also fine and i have to create the folder is called service and my service name is master service so basically it will take some time okay great our service is created so this spec file is not required let me remove it okay in the services i have to use the http client so let me inject it private http and http client okay it's not coming so we have to import it first so sometime it will come sometime it won't come if it's not coming we have to import it manually so basically it's available in the angular and common slash http so http client okay done so we have to create one function for load all the products okay here this dot http the method is the get method only here i need to paste the url that's it the same way we have the one more function for getting the individual product images get product by code so this is the second services here we need to pass the product code as the input So let me take this service also and at the end the one is actually a product code so we have to give in the dynamic way I mean it we need to pass the parameter okay now we have done the changes in our service side now let me move on the component side so the component we don't have the constructor let me create it so once it's created we can inject the service here private service and our service name is master service and also very important thing is if you are using the http services we have to import the http client model in our app model so let me do that also HTTP client model okay great so it's automatically imported so again moving to the component side Just let me declare one variable here product list get all products So let me call in the page load time. Here I need to get the data. So this dot service dot get product. Let me subscribe it. So these are the basic steps so I have everything explained in my previous videos so the data are available in the result uh, we need to assign in our product list variable okay great and the TS file side we have done now let me move on the HTML side 
we need to generate the, this d only in the dynamic manner so here i am going to use the ng for let item of add my object name so in the object i will get all the information so first i am going to bind the image product image so we can see the output now it's showing some error it does not exist okay it's look like some catch issue see now all the products are loaded fine and the product name and price we need to bind it and also it's not in the full screen So in the product name, we can bind the dynamic product name, name. So after that, we need to bind the price. Item dot amount. So see now the product name is coming after that the price also coming the format is not looks good for show for doing the format uh, we can use the pipe so first let me use the currency pipe the pipes also i am explained in my previous videos so you can refer in the playlist see now the amount is formatted and it's coming as the dollar as the default value uh, if you want to give an indian currency we have to pass the parameter so inr see now the currency symbol also changed the similar way uh, you want to give any currency code that also you can pass it here so this is the default pipe only and the price is coming the same line let me move this in the next line okay great all the price are coming the second line so now we have loaded our all the products and the next step is we have to implement the slider within the pop-up okay so the pop-up is when actually it's triggering whenever i'm clicking this the base image so here I am going to write one function. So in the image click event, get product slide, and it has one input. The input is nothing but our product code only. and now i am going to the ts file let me declare the function okay we have done and let me verify whether the value is coming or not i mean the product code So currently we don't have anything in our console now i am clicking this product so one is coming so i am clicking this product eight so if i am clicking this one 
11 is coming the last two product is 13 is coming so we are actually getting the product code so our next step is we have to implement the pop-up using this ng bootstrap so this is the link for uh, ng bootstrap official link so that also i am explained in my one of the video i am going to give the video link in our description you can watch it so the first step itself they have mentioned uh, you have to install it yes we already done and you have to move on the component side and here we can see the n number of uh, components so i am going to use this model for showing the model pop-up so if i'm clicking this small model pop-up is opening so let me move on the code side so there they clearly mentioned the html side and ts side codes so first let me copy the html side code okay up to the ng template it's fine so let me include after the content okay, it's done so here the pool footer and this header also as per our requirement it's not required if it's required you can use it and this content also it's not required for us okay we have done and now we have some changes in our ts file side so we need to import this uh, model dismissed reason and ngp model so let me copy and include my code okay we have done and also we have two functions one is for open and another one is for the close so we can include both in our uh, application okay see the content is showing some error it's not required and model services basically we need to inject this one private model services ngb model okay done this close result and dismissed these are not required basically okay this content basically it's expecting some kind of html content so we need to pass it something otherwise it will show some error so let me use the view child concept here element ref so this is the kind of element so just we are declaring here and we can use this one okay the functional defined of you we have done it so after that uh, we can trigger this open in our get product slide so let me format it So this dot open. See now uh, one small pop-up is opening. As of now we don't have any content. That's what uh, is coming like this. So the next thing is uh, we have to use the slider for the images. So for that our ng bootstrap providing the control is called carousel. So see uh, here also they have provided some samples. So I am going to use the first one only. Here actually we don't have any changes in our TS side. If you have the data in our array, it's not required. So we can copy this HTML content only. And this one actually required in our pop-up so we can include here so basically they have provide three images it's not required for us actually we are loading the uh, actually we are loading our images in the dynamic way so the ng template only is enough for us so other things uh, we can generate in the dynamic way so let me remove everything 
okay great actually here they are using some kind of product something it's not required so we can fetch the data from our services so let me declare one more variable here that is called image list and this dot service dot get product by code and it is one input code dot subscribe result the callback function is almost similar for everything so image I mean the image list equal to result that's it So now we have the data in our image list. Let me check whether any error we have. Okay, images. Okay, that actually we can manage. Okay, uh, actually here I'm going to use the ng for first one because we have the collection of data. The procedure is same. And our model also same so we can use the same name and conversion here so if you see here for the source they are using the rectangular open and close braces that means it's the property binding so we cannot use the curly braces the product image okay fine and this tab we can bind the product name item dot name and the second one we can give the product price so these things basically it's not required so anyway I'm going to give and currency so look like we have almost done but it's showing some error okay great actually the syntax for the pipe is like this if any parameters only we have to give this column I think the error is resolved yes fine now let me click on any of the images see the pop-up is coming and the pop-up we can see the images I am checking the another product so the size is not aligned so we have to include some of the classes also it will resolve this issue so pop-up class and here we have the image view that we can use the initial product loading so the view okay now see it's coming in the correct format okay see so all the images are coming so see now all the products are loading and our slider also working fine this is actually our end of our video so in my next video I am planning to cover how to upload the images and how to handle the different types of files in our angular application and also i'm planning to upload all the source coders in the hit and will provide the link in our description and still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in my comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching